Hey guys, what's going on? Potter Pop Hunter here, coming at you with another unboxing. Uh, this time I have something other than Funko Pops to unbox. Uh, I have a Harry Potter Q Posket figure. Uh, they are made by Ban Presto. Um, I did pick this one up actually for a super fantastic deal. Um, but first, before we get into this, um, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy the content. And then consider subscribing to see future content that I'm creating. Uh, and if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the bell notification so that you're uh, notified of future videos. Or if I do have any, any live streams, uh, you'll be notified on your mobile device uh, for those. Uh, but with that, I want to tell you a little bit about how I ended up with this figure. I was actually at Box Lunch and saw this guy sitting on the shelf. I've been eyeing him up for quite a while to grab um, and add to my collection of the other two I have here. I already have Ron and Malfoy. Um, but with that, uh, I saw him sitting in the clearance section marked, I believe it was $18.99. Um, and they had a sale going on that was half off of all clearance. Uh, so I believe I paid about, um, about $9.50 for him with tax. So this was an extremely good deal considering that usually they um, are 25 bucks for um, one of these figures. Actually, it does um, have it on here that it was listed as $26.90. Um, so glad I was able to find this one for a deal. Um, the box was a little dinged up. As you can see, it was partially taped shut. Um, I did already peek in here just to make sure all the pieces were in before I left the store um, and everything was accounted for. So I did go ahead and grab it. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and open him up and uh, put him together and see what he looks like. And I believe for these ones, they have two different options. Usually there's like uh, two different variants for each one. Um, there's an A variant and a B variant. Um, one where they're a little bit more glossy and one where they're a little bit more matte finished. Um, so for Draco back there, um, I do have the glossy version of him, but the matte version of Ron. Um, so we'll take a look and see which one. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Um, and it comes in, oh, it's the A variant. So it looks like we got the not shiny version, uh, but that's okay. So it does come uh, disassembled, so you have to put it together yourself. And it does come in a big bag like this, so we can see all the different pieces. So let's go ahead and take these out. And the body is one piece. Um, and I gotta say, they do package these really well. Um, so the, the scarf pieces were all um, separately wrapped. And here we have his head. Um, and it looks like they um, had plastic in between his glasses so that doesn't um, bend with that. And then next we have, looks like his arm. And then the base. So I believe we have all the pieces out. We do. Um, so with that, um, it's really easy to build these figures. You don't have to do anything super difficult to get these to come together. Um, so you can see on the base, um, it just says Q Poskets. And it does have a little bit of a design around the outside. Uh, but his feet also have holes in them. And it just stands on the base itself. Um, and it just sits in there. So they're not super like stuck in. You could take them apart if you wanted to. Um, so it's not that difficult. Um, but we do have the base. Um, next, let's go ahead and put his arm on. Um, so you can see there's little interlocking pieces. And then on the inside, it has the corresponding piece as well. So we will shove his arm in here. All right, and now his arm is connected. And then here is his head, so here's a close-up. So I do love the detail that they have on these, so these are pretty neat figures. Um, but then the base also has just the corresponding pieces to plug in the head. And there we go. So there we have Harry Potter in his school uniform with his scarf. Um, if you can, if you notice the background here, Draco and um, Harry are basically in opposite poses. They're both wearing their scarves and their school outfit. Looks like they're doing a wizard duel. Um, so there are those two figures. 
Um, and then here we also have Ron in the background. Um, but I'll show you a little bit closer up view of this figure. Um, so it does have the Hogwarts logo on his robe. Actually, it's the, I believe it's the Gryffindor logo. So he is in an action pose because it looks like he is dueling. And the colors are really vivid on this one as well. So you can see his eyes are super vivid. Um, they did a good job with the paint. Um, the actual pieces themselves are all pretty good. Um, they're actually pretty sturdy once you have them all together. So uh, here we have Harry Potter, um, the Q Posket Harry Potter. And I'm glad I was able to pick this one up and add it to my collection. I know they have a couple other ones. Uh, I know they have a Snape and a Hermione, I believe. Uh, so I will be probably picking those up in the future. Uh, but right now, these are the ones that I have. I know they're not Funko, but they're a little bit different and um, also fun because I collect Harry, di different Harry Potter things. So let me know what you guys think of these figures, or if you've picked up any of these figures. Um, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.